Hi everyone! Today is March 19th, 2020. Wow, it's still weird to say that. 2020. Anyway, uh, sorry my YouTube friends. Um, you guys are not going to be able to see this until like weeks later. But those that are on Twitch and are going on to my uh, blog will probably see this a lot sooner. So, what am I creating today? I am creating these lovely pendants. It's going to be a cat and mouse. Uh, I'm going to do keychains. Now, uh, the material that I was originally going to use was either le leather or balsa wood. But unfortunately, due to the circumstances that are currently going on right now, I was unable to get out of the house. Um, there are uh, a lot of the stores in my area have shut down. Um... So I am, um, wasn't able to get what I needed. However, however, um, I am going to be using cardstock and I'm going to transform it to make it look very much like, uh, leather or, um, at least something presentable that you might use as, as an alternative for earrings. I've seen this done before. I myself have done it, uh, with, um, shaker cards it's the same process but this way I'm gonna be dolling it up a little now why am I having my surface uh, covered here well I'm gonna show you some of the things that I used to do before I actually did SVGs so these are my jewelry um, items I did a lot of jewelry back in the day um, I started off with clay. Th these were my uh, my little what I would sell on craft fairs. This one's not a clay. Now these were my top sellers right here. I also uh, sold on Etsy. These are keychains. Uh, this is uh, not um, Zombie Steve. It's actually no, it is Zombie Steve. I created the background myself. I cut out, cut out everything by hand before I actually got my Cricut and Silhouette. Uh, this I was doing with an X-Acto knife. So, and this is made out of clay. This little guy right there. So I worked super small. <laughs> Uh, this is from the comic book, The Walking Dead. Uh, I, I did the background. I, I actually put zombies on there and put a nice little gruesome font. Cut every single... Th if you can't really tell, it's actually three-dimensional. In that it's almost like a little shadow box keychain. And I have the Walking Dead um, uh, comic book on the back. Now, this is for those of you that love anime. This is CL from... Uh, um, black butler as he's dressed in uh, in you know female wear because he's trying to catch a killer but you didn't really didn't need to know that all you had to do is this is from black butler I actually um, I created the background for it and the these this these uh, feathers these are polymer clay feathers I also did fruit basket before they actually redid the new one uh, this is also three-dimensional. You can actually see Toro Honda in the back. And this little rice ball right here um, it is made out of clay, which has its little uh, plum in the back. I also made my own, um, what you call it, uh, keychain holders, which they actually, that's how they laid for the, some of them. Others I actually had, like for my craft fair, I had them uh, on a stand. So, what am I going to be using with these today? So, I have myself, and I think I, think I actually put the, yeah, 18 gauge wire on here. Because once you take off the wrapping, I, I wouldn't know what it was called. So, I put the number right inside of there. I was going to be using this one, this 22 gauge, but um, it wasn't the right color. And I'm like, well, if I can't find my silver one, I'm going to use this one. But luckily, I found my silver one. So I'm going to be using that today. I will be using my stamp. Uh, this this is just an ordinary flower stamp that I got from um, Amazon. It was like, a, it wasn't actually a named product. It was just like, here's some stamps that are flowers from Amazon. I'm like, all right, I'll get it. It's pretty cheap. 
And these are, oh my goodness, what they're really called. Metal caps, I believe that's what they're called. And I have, I got this from Michael's once it was on sale. I think I got it for like, I don't know, five bucks. They, they were, they were doing like a 40% sale. And then I got like this really good coupon, 30% off everything. I got this in at an incredibly good price. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these two little pearls uh, for my mice, uh, for my mouse and uh, cat. I'm going to be using these findings right here to put them at these little caps to put on top. And of course, I have jewelry tools. Now, these are the mini travel ones. I used to have ones that were like this big, but during the move to out here in Tennessee, all of them were lost. Actually, not lost. They were stolen by the company that was transporting. A lot of our stuff was, was uh, stolen. Actually, uh, a lot of my husband's... Tick, um, gadgets were taken and a lot of my jewelry was also taken so I had to start restart from scratch so I'll be using that this and this these are um my goodness I'm, I lost all my train of thought uh ring ring it'll come to me something with ring on there and these are the things that are going to be holding on today. These these are the keychains that the mouse and the ear, uh, mouse and cat are going to be holding on to. So let's get started, shall we? All right. I am going to use black as my base and my mat. I have to move this over here to the side. I turn this little bad boy on. Are you on? Okay. All right. I'm gonna have to. I'm not sure how many, how much black I'm gonna actually use, and I'm only gonna use black. There's a reason for this that you guys don't know yet. I'm gonna stamp on it. Where did I put my stamp? I just moved it to the side, and now I. Oh no, here it is. <laughs> I'm so discombobulated today. I was like, I don't know if I should stream. I, I am so not here with all that's going on. I'm trying not to stress out. That's why I'm crafting. Crafting is a very good outlet for me. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to craft. I'm not going to think about all the craziness that's going outside. And I'm just going to show people how to make earrings using their Cricut. A lot of people don't know how to fully utilize basic shapes and use them uh, um, simple shapes into make, creating like amazing stuff. And of course, you'll need some beverage to drink. Mm -mm. Oh, that is hot. Oh, that is hot. That is spicy. All right. Let's head on over, over here to my pooter. And let's make this bigger. And I'm going to have to take all of my jewelry stuff and put it on the floor. Because it is hindering me from crafting. I'm sorry, guys. You're beautiful, but I, I can't. You, you have to go onto the floor. No, no. Don't argue. All right. So, if you were looking at my tutorial on my blog, this is not currently on YouTube as of yet. But it will be soon. Maybe weeks down the line. But soon, if you saw you one. Hey Devlin, they just learned to wash their hands proper. I know, I know. If people just learn to wash their hands, I was doing it before it was cool. I washed my hands, like at an early. Age. I learned how to wash my hands at an early age, which I'm teaching my children how to wash their hands in an early age. All right, so these are huge. These are not going to be our pendants. This is was just for the tutorial purposes, and I think my uh, my my music is a little loud, at least for me anyway. I'm gonna turn it down. There we go. I can actually hear myself think. So let's see now. That's two, two by two, two by two. Okay, that's what it's supposed to be. This is the size it's supposed to be. But for the tutorial, I am going to use. This is going to be a start to finish for all my friends out here on Twitch. All right, let's make this nice and big. I'm going to duplicate it. 
Now, I don't think I'm going to do anything strange to it like I normally do. I'm not going to do an advanced uh, version. All right. So, I need that tail to... I'm going to move this in a little closer. There we go. All right. And you see this this arch right here? I'm trying to mimic that again. There we go. Alright. That's how I want it. I want this nice, beautiful length here and then a skinny little um, neck. So I'm going to highlight everything and slice. Perfect. Alright. Now to make the head. I'm going to be making... Now you can do the mouse or you can do... Which one should I do first? The, the cat or the mouse? I think the cat should probably be done first because I'm a big lover of cats. I hope you guys will agree because I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> I didn't even wait for you guys' answers. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to do the cat. All right. So all I got to do is just finagle this. It, I'm trying to get the curve. You see this curve right here? Be the same. So I'm just going to go in a little bit. And I really want right there. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to highlight this. And, well, this is like the simplest way. I don't like that. You see how there's a little bump? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to just be to go back. This is like the simplest way to make uh, an earring. There's so many ways. You know, I might actually do a series of how to make your own earrings because it's they're super simple to do especially on Cricut especially using them on, with basic shapes eh, almost getting there I'm getting there there we go this should be well yeah look at that nice flow oh I love it oh I love it all right I'm gonna grab myself some triangles and these are going to be my cat ears. Such a cute little kitty. Oh, I want a kitty. I want a kitty so much. But unfortunately, we aren't able to have kittens or cats or dogs because our family, or at least I should say family members, are highly allergic to them. And we don't want them to suffer because of it. And we're not going to be selfish. But, you know, it's like, oh, I want my cat. I don't care if you're, you're allergic or not. No, that's, that's, not, the, that's not right. All right, I'm going to try to get this the way I want it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to weld it. Good, good. Now, for the eye, you can easily do, you know, a diamond shape like I have it here. Or you can do a circle. I actually did a diamond because it looks more cat-like. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little diamond right here. Oh, yeah. Should I make it a little bigger? Yeah, I should. And I'm going to slice that. Do, 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 do. Hope you guys are enjoying the music. I'm sorry, my YouTube friends. You're not even hearing a, th a single thing because <laughs> copyright information. Mm. That is good. All right. I'm grabbing the circle right here. And the way the pendant's going to lay, it's going to lay like this. Now, if you want it to lay like this, you can put the uh, the hole right on the kitten, uh, right on the cat's face. But since I don't really want that, I want it to actually be in an angle like that. I'm going to put the hole right here. Where did it go? Is it behind? Yeah, there it is. All right, I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. So when I shrink this, I can still be able to put my ear findings. I want to say it's called a finding. Uh, ring finding. I think that's what it's called. All right, I'm going to remove that. Remove that. And there we go. We got the first pendant. Or earring, you know, or keychain, however you want to see this. So right now this is at four by three. And let's make it a little smaller. There you go. That's the first one. 
That's nice. I like that. I like both of these actually. Now we're going to do the mouse exactly the same way. We're going to grab ourselves a heart. This is probably going to be like the fastest um, tutorial I've ever done. I think what it's going to be make it a little difficult is or what's going to eat up a lot of your time is going to be just assembling everything. All right, let's see here. Since mice have a like a thinner tail, let's see if I can actually do this. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. Yep, yeah. I think I like it. Um, yeah, I would definitely like it. All right, I'm gonna slice this. All right. That's nice and thin. I love it. Here's the neck of it. Good, good. Now I'm going to grab myself another heart and a circle. And very, I'm going to make a teardrop. I have done this before. You guys seen it. You guys liked it. I'm just going to show you how to do it one more time. Grab myself a circle and elongate it. All right. Well, well, actually, let's do horizontally. Good. And weld. There we go. Now we got our tear dot drop shape. That's what this is right here. All right. That's a little too big. You know, and it, if... Let me see if I can actually add to this. I know it's only going to do a cat and mouse, but I actually might do a deer. I think a deer can be done, but then again, deers don't really have a tail like this, so maybe not. Just thinking about, you know, thinking out loud. Alright, I gotta make sure this is going the right direction. Alright, let's see. Weld. Good. Yeah, see? Nice flow. There's no little, there's not a stop there. And I'm going to get myself a little mouse. Now, believe it or not, when I was younger, I had a whole mess of rats. Um, and it was quite by accident that I actually came across having these uh, rats in our house. And there was some kids that were being, you know, bullying the sewer rat. And I kind of chased them off. I took the, the rat back home. Took care of it, only to find out, you know, it was pregnant. It wasn't a boy. It was a girl. And she had babies upon babies. So, I became known as, you know, the rat girl. I think I want it right there. I keep fidgeting on where I want the eye. Slice. There you go. That's cute. Alright, I'm not going to dispose of this. In fact, I'm just going to get them bigger. I will take it, care of that one. And I'm going to manipulate this to make it look the way I want. <laughs> there we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Duplicate it. Duplicate, duplicate. Let's see, let's move this back. Yeah, let me move it a little lower. That looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to weld. There is a mouse. So now I'm just going to move it slightly like this. Grab another circle, which I shouldn't have deleted the other one since I'm going to use it again. See this one? You see this little hole? That I think that's a little too tiny. I I needed to go bigger because once I actually start to to cut these out, I don't want the hole to be too tiny. You know what I mean? All right, let's make sure this is right in the middle. I might be incorrect on this. Yeah, I was incorrect. Move this over here. That's a little too big. Oh, that's a little too small. There you go. And now I'm going to slice. Wait. He's he's bent too far. 
just finagling it, just finagling it, <laughs> trying to make this work for me. I'm like, nope, I'm not satisfied. But isn't that the way with crafting? It's like you, let me just delete these. I don't, I'm not 100% happy with those. And I'm going to go to two inches. There we go. Look at that. So what is a girl to do now? Well, we're going to duplicate these. And we're going to duplicate these until we get a full sheet of eight and a half by 11. Let's see. Where am I now? I am at, this is 11 right here. I can see the ruler. So that's a little, let's see if I can actually put these a little closer. So I can squeeze these guys in. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, can I squeeze you in? Can I? Can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yay! Look at that. I'm right on the line. All right. So eight and a half is right over here. So let's see how many I can fit. Okay, that's too big. So I'm just gonna have to go here. That's nine inches. I can already see. Can I? Hmm. How about now? That's no eight and a half. That works. All right. That works too. All right, that's it. We got it. All right, so we got all this. This should be 10 by, what does it say on top? Eight. Okay, I'm okay with that. If I need more, then I will cut more. But I think this will be fine. Let's see how many I can have here. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's going to be fine. So let's go to make it. One sheet wonder. Beautiful. I love it. All right. And it didn't move it. Oh, wait. No, it did. No. Let me go back because I had it perfect. Oh, man. All right. Let me attach everything. It spread everything out. I'm like, no, don't do that. Okay. Now let's go to make it. There we go. See? Oh, yeah. That's good. That's great. Everything is where it should be, and it didn't move it. Great. All right, all right. Let's well, looking for my information. I have my blade. Okay, it's time to cut, people. Time to cut. Let's cut this. Mmm. That is good tea. Oh man. Well, I think I like it a little bit better than coffee. I know a lot of people that are coffee lovers like, bless for me, bless for me, coffee all the way. Nah, give me some tea. I'm, I'm all right. Mm. I can drink, drink, you know, tea hot or cold. And I see that these guys are still too big. You know what? It's fine. It's for the tutorial. You guys get to see what it actually looks like. Also, what I will be using with this, I'm going to be using... Da, 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 da. Oh, come back here. These are called embossing... Um, bousing powders. I got the ink. I have the embossing powder. And I have my embossing little heater thingy. I know you guys probably have never seen this, especially on Twitch. Or if you do, it's, you know, very rare that you come across these now these say sg because they're my uh aunt-in-laws they were kind she was kind enough to give me all her stash and they're still in great quality the ones that don't have uh the actual you know markings on here is because they're mine and as you can see i only have three while hers keeps on going this is also hers <laughs> she was kind enough to give me that so I think I'm going to use this nice um, glittery, look at that, embossing powder. It's either that or 
this white one right here. I haven't really decided. I want to go with the glitter, give it a nice little pop. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I also have red. I think black and red would always look great. Or silver, black and silver. I got this nice iridescent one too. Ooh, so many choices I can do. I gotta make up my mind fast because black goes with even black and black looks really nice. All right, all right. All right, are you almost done? Sweetie, are you almost done? Yes, it looks like you're almost done. I'm at 85%. How you all doing today? I know it's super early. And you have probably family members all over your house right now. I know my kids are still here at home. So that's an eye opener. I mean, I mean I've had them here for summer breaks. It's just... The craziness that's going out outside does make a person think, you know? Even trying to go and, and grab, you know, simple items like milk or bread, it, or it, it, it's hard. But luckily for us, we're, we're in a farm country, so we have a lot of friend, friends and family that are farmers that have a supply of eggs and have a supply of um, vegetables. And we're just getting information from them on how we can do the same thing. Ooh, that is a little big. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little big. But you know what? That's going to be fine. This is going to be one of those large... Yeah, and the hole is actually the right size, too. Good. You know what? This is a learning process. You know, I'm, I was going to do a test thing on this with paper anyway so when I have the actual balsa wood or um, leather I know what size would be you know perfect so two by two inches is pretty big but it doesn't look bad I will say that it actually looks pretty neat all right just taking all this stuff off and that little eyeball out of there All right, I'm just going to have to use this guy. He's so good. There you go. All right. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Mhm mhm. Are you going to come out? Are you stuck? Oh, part of him came off. I see. That's unusual. There he is. All right. Part of him came off. That was weird. Oh, you're giving me the hard, hard time too. All right, fine. There you go. It just—it's because of my mat. It's actually super sticky. <laughs> Come on, get off. There we go. Tired I am. I know, Devlin. I know. You've been doing a lot of the like for work for all of us, and I appreciate that. He's been like a real trooper. He goes out almost every day. He helps out his mom and his aunt. And his cousin, who has currently um, a debilitating disease, and and he's like really, I mean, not that he doesn't step up already, but he's uh, he's been foraging for us for the whole stinking family. I mean, he has to worry about not only us as a family, but he has to think about his mom, and he, his aunt, his cousins. They're unable to to do this for themselves because they're they're not you know they're older. Not his cousin, but you know the rest of his family is a lot older, so he's really stepping up to help them out. Not that he doesn't already. That that, that sounds really bad. Don't mind me. <laughs> 
but yeah, he's a little exhausted with all the running around he's doing, trying to get distilled water for our, their machines and my machine, getting medical um, items for them. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm I'm really super. I love my husband. He he's impresses me every single day. It's almost like he's my own personal superhero. You hear that, honey? You're my own personal superhero, and I love you for that. All right. Since I expelled all of this, I don't need any of this. Okay, I think I'm going to be good with what I got. So, I'm just going to keep this to the side. Alright, where is my... Oh, there you are. And then I got my Aileen's Tacky Glue. So, let me just set all this stuff right here. Got cat, mouse. Cat, mouse. Cat, cat, gato, mouse, mouse. No, it's funny. I know the word for rat in Spanish, but I don't know what the the word for mouse is. Rat is rata. Cat is gato. But I don't remember what the word for mouse is. Mouse. Mm, it's not coming to me. So any of you Spanish-speaking friends of mine, if you know what mouse means, uh, how to pronounce it, I'm just going to have to look it up on... I need on Google and have the little translator tell me what it is. And I'll be like, are you sure that's the way it's supposed to say it? Because I'll be honest, even though Spanish is a, is a language, there are different words for different things. Like if you go speak to a Colombian, they have a different word for what, you know, a table or um, a cat or a dog or something. I think perro is still perro. Although with my Puerto Rican accent, I don't really pronounce my R's very well. Perro. Perro. <laughs> but all my Mexican friends can roll their R's. Unfortunately, I cannot. I cannot roll them. I'm trying super hard. Perro. It's like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Can't just say it. Can't say it, man. Yeah, but you. It's like if you. It's kind of. It's kind of. You know. Uh, how do I say it? Almost discriminatory. If you say, "Oh, you speak Spanish? Sure. Are you Mexican?" And it's like no. I'm Puerto Rican. Don't, you know, or if you say to a, a Mexican, say, like, oh, are you a Puerto Rican? It's like, no, I'm Mexican. Or it's, it's no difference if you, if you talk some, to somebody from Ireland or England and they're like, oh, are you from England? You know, are you from me? They're like, no, I'm Irish. It's almost a little disrespectful. It's like, how can you not tell? <laughs> it's hard, man. It's hard. All right, it's looking good, looking good. Now, the last one I'm gonna leave off. This is actually becoming pretty thick. Now, if I had any crackle medium, it's this stuff that makes um, paper look incredibly crackled, like almost vintaged. It gives it a nice little glossy accent. And I used to have some. I don't have any more. And I, like I said, things are, for crafters, it's no different than trying to get food. Stores are closing up. But I'm working with the crafts that I have. All right. Good. Beautiful. Everything's lining up good. Got a little smuts here and there, but nothing too major. And it's not a nice weight to it too. Look at that. It's got it's got a good weight to it. Now if you really wanted, you can probably put a little bit of like resin on here after all the glue has dried. 
to give it a nice little domey shape to it. I know some of you actually do have, um, what's that called? That resin, that UV resin. There you go. All right. That would probably work really well on this. You would just cover it. After you're done with everything, you cover it with UV resin. Give it a nice little dome shape. But then again, if you have UV resin, I guess you, you know, you, you would be using that for other projects. All right. There we go. See, nice and thick. That's actually pretty thick. This is the same way that I would do, um, what you call it, a shaker card. You would just layer upon layer upon layer, put acetate on the bottom, put acetate, uh, some glitter in the middle, and then acetate on the front. It's no different. I guess you could do the same thing. You can make this into a nice little shaker keychain if you really wanted, but, 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 you would definitely need to use some heavy duty glue to make sure that this is not going to fall apart. All right, we got that. We're leaving this guy off, off because we're going to stamp on him and do all sorts of beautification on him. That and on the back, maybe. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. All right, working on the mouse. So cute. I love it. Oh, I so love it. All right. I find this actually pretty relaxing. I, you know, whatever you find relaxing, I suggest you do it. Unless it's like cannibalism, then I would have to say stop. <laughs> find another hobby. Or, you know, serial killing. I, again, find another hobby. How about get a hobby that, that doesn't involve maiming and killing? Or devouring of other people. That would not be a good thing. Take up sewing, you know, or gardening. Gardening would be a great one, especially now. Gardening is like an essential thing. There we go. So there we go. I can do it over here, right here, right here, over here. Don't stick to me. Yeah, I totally love doing this kind of projects, especially with glue, because it gives me a little wiggle room before it actually sets. Under the winter sun. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, and this is my last one. Guys, have any questions? Am I going too fast? I don't want to be speed deeming through this. This looks pretty good. Look at that. I'm not using a lot of glue either, just on the edges there so it doesn't come apart. Now, if you want to make sure that this is not going to be going anywhere, you can uh, put it on in between books to keep it nice and flat. Stack something really heavy on top of them because this is still glue and it's wet and you're working with paper. There we go. Look at that. Well, the holes line up. Oh yeah, this looks good. I wish I had something heavy to put this on top. Would this work? No, it's not heavy enough. But you get the idea. All right. So I'm going to leave these two up here. And let's get to the stamping portion. All right. Let's see how sticky this... Oh, this is actually dried out. Let's go with this embossing. And this is close to my heart. I'm not sure if they do this anymore. This is actually incredibly old. But my aunt got it going on. My aunt-in-law knows what's up. She knows how to take care of her stuff. Unlike me that apparently has her stuff dry out too quickly. Yeah, this thing is incredibly juicy if you can't see it. You see all these little blue lines here? That's, that's all the juices. 
All right. I need to get myself uh, a piece of paper. White piece of paper. All right. All righty. Okay. So, oh, snap. I was supposed to get a, um, what is it called? Laundry something or other. I'll be right back. This will take like less than two seconds. Okay, maybe a little more than just two seconds, but yeah. So you got a dryer sheet. You need this to get all the static off of this. Because believe it or not, your hands and the things around you conduct a lot of electricity. And you get stuff stuck on you. Oh, no, no, no. All right. That should take off a lot of the stuff. All right, so I got my flower. A little stampy stampy here. Now, you can't see it. You can't see it, but it, this thing is covered. And I'm going to do is just going to stamp in all sorts of the areas here. Good. Alright. Let's move this to the side right here. And do I have my little pickup tool? No, I do not. So much for thinking ahead. I was like, oh, I got everything. I'm fine. Maybe I can just use this. Oh, no, there she is. Just couldn't see it. Alrighty. Move this to the side here. Move this to the side. Alright, I'm going to grab this white diamond. See, look how shimmery that is. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up. But all I'm going to do is just going to pour it on here. Look at that. And all I need, I'm going to have some areas that have a little bit of a... This, I'm just going to have to take off. This is just an everyday paintbrush, you know. Nothing too fancy. And all I'm doing is just taking some of the areas off. Like that. Oh my god, pretty. Oh, you can see this shimmer. <laughs> all right. Back into the bottle. All right, Mr. Man, back into the bottle. And it, honestly, you don't use a lot, to tell you the truth. All right. Now, let me show you what is going to happen to this beautiful little piece. All right. I have my machine right here. This is called a Darcy, Darcy heat tool. And I'm going to turn her on. It's going to be a little loud. I'm going to have to just uh, put her to the side for a few moments just to heat her up properly. Just I'm going to make sure. Oh yeah, there she goes. All right. Now she's going to change color. And she's going to start warping my paper just a little bit. All right, Darcy, you doing your thing? Yeah, you are. It's going from a little opaque to really clear on here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Make it nice and glossy. Look at that. Now, you don't want to put this too long because then you'll burn your paper. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is nice. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side here. Where are you? Right here. Look at that. 
I'm going to put that right on top. Where's my glue? Right here. You know, after thinking about this, I should make this into a shaker. But then I would have to cut the back out of acetate, which I don't have available. I was like, oh, if I really was thinking this, I should have done this into a shaker keychain. Now that would have been super crazy to show you guys. That would have been the ultimate uh, crafting tutorial. Do I have acetate? Where would it be? Where would my acetate be in my room? Hmm, let me think about this one. Because that would be super cool. Well, once I put this on, I can't I can't go back. Oh, oh well. Cause I was just thinking that eye, that cat eye would look so awesome with glitter in it and make it really pop. Alright. That is super solid. That is solid. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. Where did I put my string? Hmm. Did I put it on the floor? No, it's just covered up. But I'm not done with her yet. I still have stuff to do with her so I'm just gonna put you right here and let's do the mouse shall we okay okay now to do the sh the mouse now that I've done white I really want to try a different color let's do actually right on top Okay. Let's get good coverage on this. I want to make sure. All right. Good. All right. I already did white. Let's do a different color. Let's do this. Should I do this red? Yeah, let's do this red. All right. Try to pick this guy up. Let me make sure that I get rid of putting that in the trash. There we go. Nice and clean. Should have done that prior, but I didn't. Again, absent minded crafter. Now, this may look like I'm wasting a lot. I'm really not. All I'm doing is just lathering this up as much as possible and then it's going to be collected right back into the little tube. I'm literally not wasting anything. So I can make multiple projects with this. Okay, you can barely see it. Hopefully once I heat that up, it's going to look really nice. Alright, I'm going to grab my... Right, I'm just taking the areas off. All right. Set this aside right here. And let's put this back in. All right. Okay. See? Look. I barely used anything at all. All that. Barely used anything. All right. Get my heat tool again. Let's see how well this is going to... Ooh, it's hot. This thing is hot. Oh, it's actually blending in. Oh, man. Yeah, it's making it more opaque than anything. I thought it was going to make it really pop, but nope, it doesn't. In fact, what it did is just made it look like really textured. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. Gave, gave this really neat textured look. 
I wonder if I can go over that with a brighter color. But then again, mm, I don't know if I should. I should just leave it textured like this. I really like what I did with the eye. And now I can't see it. Except for like in the light. Oh man. Oh well. Now you, now you can see what these things can actually do. You got a nice little popping one right here. And then you have a nice texture one right here. So a nice little contrast. Alright. All right, going down. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they go. All right, I put this juicy thing away. All right. There we go. Not too shabby, guys. That looks pretty nice. Man, I really wish I was thinking about this and made it into a shaker. You know, look how cool that would look. All right. Moving on to step two. Getting these on keychains. All right. Let me get only what I need. Taking everything else off. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to be using my mini kit tool right here. All right. What I want this to have is these little balls right here. And since I use the red, now it doesn't, it actually clashes. If I get the black, hmm, it'll clash. All right, let's just work with what we got. So I want to make sure that this fits in here nice and snug. All right, and I need to make some loops. So what I'm going to do is grab my little snip tools here. And yes, they're all, they are super little. And I'm gauging this on how where I want it to go. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to cut that. And I should have straightened this beforehand, so I did that wrong. It's been forever and a day since I've done jewelry. All right. I'll keep this one for later, but what I normally would do, you see this, this particular tool, I'm not sure what it's called. What it does, it straightens the wire to make it nice and straight before it gets cut. Right now it's still kind of, okay, there you go, that's, that's a ticket right there. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, right there. All right. And I'm going to grab myself these little rounded pincers. Yes, these are super tiny. But again, I used to have them this big. <laughs> I don't have that luxury. All right, so all I'm doing is just rotating this. Now, before I close this, I am going to put one of these little ring findings. Hmm. It doesn't tell me the gauge, what's, what size this is. All right. Okay. So these are like little flat. And when you're doing these, you don't want to pull them apart. You want to pull them side, side to side. 
you grab it from one side and you just gently move it to its side which technically I didn't have to do since the side is already open but now you know to close it back up you just put it together like that okay and I gotta close this guy up right okay that's perfectly closed good good and now I'm gonna do the one on top I'm just closing it up just like that. Good. And all I'm doing is I'm grabbing the findings again. And this time I actually went all the way in. No, actually I didn't. Good. Just slip that right in. And then snip it close. All right, here we go. So one end is going to have this little clasp right here. Almost there. No, oh, I can't seem to get it open. There you go. All right, so that's connected to that. That's connected to this. And this little guy right here is going to be connected to one of these bigger ones. Okay. Let me just open this one up. Just like that. Alrighty. Ooh, let's stop it now. All right. Just going to put this in. Oh. Come on now. There we go. All right. Somehow it pulled itself apart, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. I just need to put it together now. Let me get something to eat. My hands are shaking. All right, let's see here. Just need to put these guys together. There we go. Perfect. Nope, not perfect. <laughs> this keeps falling apart. I tell you, I got butterfingers today. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I just need to connect this one to this one. I'm pulling these apart. I'm putting this in here. It's a lot easier with my hands than I using the tool but the tool does tighten it. There you go. Okay. Come on, a little. Okay, there we go. You got yourself a nice little keychain. Now you can do the same thing for the back as you did the front, but I just wanted to show you that it is possible to actually do it. You can make your own little pendant. You can make your own little keychains. I would have preferred this made out of either leather or balsa wood. I think it would have been super cute in balsa wood. And then stain it just a little bit. You know, put a nice, beautiful stain on it. 
bit. Like I said, it's a bit crazy out there. So let's do the same thing for the mouse. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh, nuts. I for forgot to put these little findings on there. Oh, man. And they selected them in, out and everything. Oh, darn. You know what? I'm going to use this since I've already cut it. All right. I'm going to have to put this first. Second. Third. See how nice this looks? Oh, man. I'm going to have to redo the other one. Oh, that looks so much cuter. So much cuter. Kicking myself now. Alright. Just come on. Do my little loop. Do my little loop, man. There we go. Oh, you just slipped right out, didn't you? There you go. I'm sure all professional jewelers, I'm like, no, stop, don't do that. What are you doing? I'm like, look, this is the only way I know how. If you have pointers for me, by all means, let me know. All right. Yeah, I think this piece is a little too small. Yeah. Yeah, this piece is a little too small. It's okay. It's all right. I did it anyway. Let's try this again. All right. Hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this on the top right now. Where are you? Where did I put you? Oh, here you are. Okay. Okay, I'm just pulling this in like that. And then moving this to the back like that. And then flattening it. There I go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I don't want to cut too long or too short. Oh, that looks really nice. And I did this too, too long. All right. Well, there's a remedy for that. You know, just have to cut that off right there. There you go. Just move this back a little. Perfect. Per -per perfect. There you go. Now I just need to put this flat. There you go. Oh, that looks cute. Look at that. Super cute. I love it. Alright, let's get this thing on here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mess this with this in here and mess this with this one in here. Move this to the side. Goodness gracious, never. What are you saying never for? Why are you saying never? 
I don't think I said a question that would would uh, respond to a never. Okay, that's on there. Beautiful. Look at that. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I like it. I like it. And I think for this one, I'm just going to connect it directly right here. Come on now. Why are you giving me a hard time? There you go. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I really wish I had put on the caps on this one. I'm going to have to reopen everything just to put them in. <laughs> My mistakes, I tell you. My mistakes. But it doesn't look bad. Either one doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty good. Although I wish the red had been more like pop in your face. It's a very subtle red. It's a really mute, textury red. And I guess it would really look a lot better in, red, in white. And that's it. That is the whole stinking tutorial. If I had some balsa, I would be doing the same thing. But instead of paper, it would have been balsa and probably no no layering. <laughs> it would have been just like one. And then staining it. And then adding the chains to it. And making yourself your own personal pendant. Look at that. Let me see if I can actually get that white. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So you got perfectly good to, my, that might be my thumbnail right there. This right here, this will be my thumbnail. So thank you for stopping on by. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like what you see, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, put that, uh, you know, subscribe and hit that notification button. Now these are only strictly for my YouTube peoples. But if you are um, a follower on Twitch, Hit that follow button. It really helps me and it helps you because I come out every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And on YouTube, it's going to be every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for stopping on by. You guys have a beautiful day.